This is Thurmond, West Virginia. Population, five. But it wasn't always like this. Thanks to rich deposits of coal in the area's mines, Thurman's banks were once full of cash. Coal barons walked its streets, and hotels here were booked solid. As scrappy miners and businessmen arrived to cash in on the new boom in coal. And that also made Thurmond as rough a town as any in the Wild West. At the time, it was said that the only difference between Thurmond and hell is that a river runs through Thurmond. In those days, the only way to get here was by train. And it was a town without streets. Its buildings downtown faced right out onto the train tracks, just as they still do today. Freight trains still ride these rails and provide images of what Thurmond might have looked like more than a century ago. In an age when railway lines were the engineering marvels of the day, especially here in the mountains of West Virginia. Building paths for train tracks through these hills required tough machines and even tougher men, one of whom has become a West Virginia legend. When the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad started laying down a new rail line through West Virginia in the 1870s to carry out Appalachian coal, the new tracks ran right into Big Bend Mountain. 800 men were soon deep inside, chiseling their way through more than a mile of rock and inhaling tiny particles from clouds of dust that would end up killing many of them. To speed up the work, the CNO reportedly brought a new machine called a steam-powered drill into the tunnel, a machine that's tied to one of West Virginia's great folktales, the legend of the steel-driving man, John Henry. The story goes that Henry, an African-American hammer man, claimed that he alone could break rock faster than the CNO's new drill. Pitting himself against this then new technology, Henry hammered his way through the mountain and succeeded in beating the drill, but collapsed and died almost as soon as he was finished. No one even knows if John Henry actually existed, but he lives on as a West Virginia folk hero and one that country singer Johnny Cash famously sang about in his much-loved version of The Legend of John Henry's Hammer. John Henry said to his captain, a man ain't nothing but a man, Cash sang. But if you bring that steam drill round, I'll beat it fair and honest. I'll die with my hammer in my hand. Today, the railroad is still the heart of West Virginia's economy. Trains still crisscross this state, hauling coal just as they have for more than a century.